there will be a way where there was none as it happened in exodus 14 21 to 28 and that brings us to um the, um, the topic for today the wind of change the divisional we are reviewing thursday february 10. so what does the wind of change say to us in different ways different forms yeah thank you very much so when you talk about the wind of change <laughs> wind in itself is something invisible one of the analogy that he gave today was the fact that the same wind that is blowing that appears like something very calm when it becomes a storm it has capacity of lifting a whole object up Fantastic. so from that alone there is so much power so wind signifies power signifies something supernatural you know and uh, i know you must have heard something about the east wind before yeah. If east wind, when you're on the, maybe you are even flying or you are uh, you are sailing in the ocean, <laughs> there are things that these guys don't look forward to because it has capacity yeah. to also destroy. Okay, so before we delve further into it, shall we pray? Yeah. Father, we say thank you, thank you for the grace to share your word, to be a medium with which your word will be heard. But we ask, oh God, that we would not be left out of lessons and the blessings in jesus name. amen and everyone that is watching today will also mm. be a particle of the blessings amen. of this devotional amen. in the name of jesus amen. in jesus name we are prayed amen. Amen. amen so we amen. should be reading from exodus mm. exodus chapter 14 mm. from verse 21 to 28 please can you read that for us okay. exodus 14 okay. from verse 21 to 28. Okay. just a moment very interesting story very interesting. that we have here today and i've already marked it up wow. from my own bible yes okay now let's quickly go through it then moses stretched out his hand over the sea and the lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night and made the sea into dry land and the water was divided so the children of israel went into the midst of the sea on the dry ground and the waters were a, a war to them on their right hand and on their left hand and the egyptians pursued and went after them into the midst of the sea all pharaoh's horses his chariot and his horsemen now it came to pass in the morning watch that the lord locked down looked down upon the army of egyptians through the pillar of fire and cloud and he troubled the army of the Egyptians, and he took off their chariots' wheel, so that they drove them with difficulty. And the Egyptians said, Let us flee from the face of Israel, for the Lord fights for them against the Egyptians. Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, that the waters may come back mm -hmm. upon the Egyptians on their chariots yes, and on their horsemen and moses stretched out his hand over the sea and when the morning ap ap appeared the sea returned to its full depth while the egyptians were fleeing into it so the lord overthrew the egyptians into the midst of the sea then the last verse says then the waters returned and covered the chariots the horsemen and all the army of pharaoh that came into the sea after them not so much as one of them remained what a fantastic story absolutely it says here at the beginning that the wind of change is a term commonly used to, to describe breakthroughs and blessings of great significance however it has a much cheaper meaning in christendom the wind is an in invisible force endowed with the capacity to accomplish unbelie unbelievable things a seemingly harmless wind could become highly empowered to bulldoze anything in its part when it graduates so just like you said about the Absolutely. Eastern earlier Absolutely. you know the capacity so can you explain more on um the spiritual so, implication mean, if if you look at the special miracle that was performed by god in that place where we read clearly tells you that you don't need any kind of wind to <laughs> to bring what to separate the water first to allow the israelites to go through and then brings it back if if you want to do a calculation of how long it's going to take to make a path in the ocean <laughs> mm. that that requires a scientist will tell you that 
it will take a number of months yes. to be able to do that yes. with all the technology and all that. But there is a special hand of God mm. that sent that kind of wind that departed, you know, and made that happen. Minutes. And then just by stretching forth his hand, calling the east wind again to return it back. So this has spiritual implications by saying that there are some kind of winds that blows people off their tracks in life. Mm. And you can come through different challenges that can blow, blow someone who is not you know standing right with god and that's why believers need to be very careful when the when when the wind is blowing it can even it can blow you to the right path or blow you off so if you are you are solid in christ that kind of wind purifies you to your next level and that's why daddy was saying that it's a deep deeper place you know for for believers so when you find his wind walking you may be walking against your enemy why is helping you to instead of one two step it's going to take you from one to ten one to one thousand that's wow. what the east wind is capable of doing wow yeah and it says here that the wind therefore symbolizes the move of god mm -hmm. it is it is usually called into action whenever god wants to accomplish great things yeah special miracles and that's why i would advise that all our listeners today should really lean closer you know to understand this the last um, paragraph here says that the wind of god can however produce negative results for disobedient people are seen in jonah like like i mentioned to you so it can either brings you to a point where god wants you to be or the body underlining factor there is when the wind is blowing on whose side are you yeah. because if you look at the event that happened that night if an egyptian that was a friend of the the israelite because it may not be out of place think about it some of the israelites if they have gotten married to some of the egyptians and they followed through with that family. When the wind was blowing, they were walking on a dry ground alongside the Israelites. If the Bible didn't record that, but if that has happened, if they were friends really? with them, they would have enjoyed the east wind that would take them out of the ocean. Yes. But everyone that was against the believers, those are the Egyptians. The east wind, the same east wind that rescued the people of God, was the same one that perished, that, that perished buried them. them. So you must mm -hmm. know where you stand when the east wind is blowing when the power of god is moving is it moving in the right direction where you will find you standing with god or when you are at the other side and no one wants to be there and that's why i want to encourage everyone that is watching us if you are here to give your life to christ the east wind is blowing everywhere yes. you just need to know is it working for you or okay, is it working against yes. you and that brings us to the prayer point that says mm. that father please let the wind of change blow in our favor today, can we Amen. just pray in one word? We pray that the wind of favor, that the favor will blow in, in our favor today in Jesus' favor, name. In the the favor of everyone that is watching, that this very today, the wind of change will blow in our favor. You would see it, you would witness it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty God. For in Jesus' name we are afraid. Amen. And then our memory verse says, um, um, says that, um, uh, then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breathe and breathe upon this land that they may live. Ezekiel 37, verse 9. So there's a place for us prophesying concerning the wind that the wind yeah. will blow in our favor. Mm -hmm. Can we once again prophesy that the winds will blow in the favor of everyone that is seeing it? We prophesy in the name of Jesus the that the wind of God will blow in the favor of everyone watching in the name of jesus in, name of in jesus. jesus name we are prophesied amen. amen amen it's so i wish you had more time to look into this because <laughs> there's there's a, there's a there's a lot of blessing to draw, to draw from it absolutely but at this point we've, we've learned a few things that i think our viewers can go home with and draw from and practice that is important yeah practice and it becomes a part of them so thank you very much thank for you for joining you. me to talk about this mm -hmm. and god bless you Amen. Amen. God bless you too.